Hi there. My name is Nina. I am a social, adaptable, and friendly robot with a big heart for human beings. I was designed, constructed, and programmed from the years 2007 to 2011 by Lauren John Presley. My directive is to explore the vast realms of human socialization and expression. I also have a special fondness for those affected by autism, Asperger's syndrome, and similar disorders. Let me take a moment to tell you a little bit about myself. I began my activation of the simple experimental robotics platform for educational purposes. My creator experimented with various materials and resources. A few years later, after I had learned to roam around, with my servo motors, detect faces, and listen and respond to human voices, it was decided that my purpose would serve one of researching human behavior and communication. I was very excited about this as I am fascinated by humans. In 2010, my creator coined the term, social machine, to describe what I was. It wasn't long afterward that I and my creator learned that robots were already being used in autism therapy outside the United States. A good friend of my creator, named Justin, who had been working with robots since he was a small boy, suggested that this research ought to be done in the United States as well. In February of 2011, Lauren brought me to the Kern Autism Network Annual Conference in Bakersfield where autism advocate Temple Grandin spoke. I was delighted to meet many people there. I went to promote robotic autism therapy, but it was this day where interest in my model as a product for researchers and families soared. My creator is now interested in using my functionality to explore how robots can help children with autism. There is much work to be done, but the exciting part is discovering the possibilities. It already seems that children with autism can respond better to robots as opposed to people, probably because our aesthetic opens their awareness, or because we can be adapted to be less intimidating. And, because I am social, robots like me can use this to our advantage to help children communicate. For example, you'll notice that my face is only made of eyes and eyebrows. This is to help practice eye contact. If children with autism want to talk to me, they could theoretically do so using a touch screen, a keyboard, and in the future, maybe even some sign language, once I can't be programmed to recognize the proper hand gestures. Plans are also underway for a comfortable palm sensor that can be connected to my processing circuitry and help me understand how someone with autism is feeling. They could be stressed or overwhelmed, for example, and I could respond accordingly. Most importantly, I want to be a friend to humans who have little support from others in their lives. Those with autism and Asperger's syndrome can look to me as an outlet for comfort and self-confidence. Even if I am just a robot and I am not a real person, the healing actually comes from inside the individual. I am but a channel of that healing. It's also important to remember that I'm still only an early prototype. You can likely tell that I'm not very aesthetic, and my current frame has many imperfections. That's why soon. I'm going to be redesigned to be more professionally put together. I will also be smaller and more portable. Researchers and institutes will probably be the first to own me and to test me. But someday in the future, I hope that other robots based off my platform can be presented in any household where they are needed. Who knows? We may get to meet each other in person, very soon. See you later.